Okay, so next on the list, we're going to have a look at a counterbalance off a, off a chest ascender, uh, and then we're going to take the casualty down through a rebelay. Uh, there's a couple of ways you could access him. You could access him from below, or you could access him from above. It purely depends on, on, on the situation at work, really. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take his backup line, try not to pull through too much slack, because I'm going to transfer onto it. Just make sure that ASAP's not dropped too low. Just transfer onto that. <laughs> Try not to straddle your casualty too soon. You want to be with him, but not straddling him, just so you can keep everything clean. All right, I'm now going to change into descent. And then I'm just going to transfer my back up over. So it's important with this that everything's clean and you know where these loops are going all the time, all right? So I'm just going to put that in there. And just take our oh, hand descend up. Try not to stand on our casualty. Knock that off. Okay, I'm now going to abseil down level with his chest point. All right. Make sure it's nice and neat all the time. I want to get to about here. And then I'm going to use a chain of crabs, one into his chest. So it's really important when you join the carabiners together that you know where your loops are. See these two loops here, the one that's coming off him and the one that's coming out of our descender, we want our hard link below it because if it's not below it and it's in here, we have all kinds of trouble when it comes to the rebelay. Really important. You make your connections and then you look where your loops are going. All right. So that's in there. I now need a backup from him to me. So I'm going to use his long cow's tail into my central D-ring. Do the gate up. All right. So I've now I've got two points to him. I've got two points. I can now take his backup off. And depending on where we're going next, I might need that. So I might just steal it. And then I'm going to take his descender as well because I'm going to need that. Okay. So next, we've got our two points to him. We're sure that the loop's clear. We're going to, we need to lift his weight off the chest ascender, so we're going to use his fall arrest attachment point there. If it's an old crawl, there will be a, a small carabiner hole there which you can lift him off. And we're going to use his hand ascender because it's the nearest thing to hand. I'm just going to remove his foot loop out of it. I'm going to put a carabiner in. I'm going to put the carabiner in the top just so it gives me an extra bit of height. I'm going to put that one in there. Sewn termination where my foot's going to be. All right, so that's going into there. And then spin that, clip that in. Nice and neat and parallel, nice and clean. All right, the neater it is, the easier it is. And then I'm going to look at it. I'm going to need a couple of inches, so I'll just slide it up a bit higher if I can. And then foot in. And then I stand up straight. I'm not, this is not difficult. I'm not lifting, not lifting with my leg, I just lift with my arm. An inch. <laughs> Another inch. And we take it out, all right? Nice and easy, wasn't, wasn't traumatic. Sit down, and then I'm just going to pinch the sling, pinch both sides, kick my foot out, and then I'm going to lower his weight onto this chain of carabiners. Pull that out. 
Remove Chris's hand ascender. So again, I've snatched him. See where we're going. I'm just going to have a quick turn him round. Just get it so you can see it. But the loops are clear. At this point here, you want to check that the loops are clear. Because if they are between this hard link, again, you know, at this stage we can sort it out. You get a bit lower, you can't again. All right, so nice and simple. Friction carabiner on. Two persons weight, so we need a friction carabiner. Check the ASAP's running. And then nice and steady down. It's not very far this, but down till you're just below where you're attached with the rebelay. And then we're gonna transfer from one descender to another. So I cunningly stole it earlier, so I didn't have to go foraging around in here. We're gonna put this descender so that Chris is hanging off both the descender and my D-ring, all right? This is quite important, so it goes through that carabiner and there, do the gate up. Now as we transfer, this all stays clean. I'll show you. Just take my uh, friction beaner out. Again, checking my loops. Pull myself over. New rope in. And then I'm just going to pull myself over. Again, it's not difficult. So that I'm, I'm keeping all the height. I'm not losing any height. Lock that off. So if I just were to abseil just a little bit on this, these two are under equal tension, all right? If they're any bigger than this, you wouldn't want to do it like this. You'd want an extra point on. But I'm happy that those two are in tension, so I'm just going to take my back up off. And I'm going to put it on the other rope that we're descending down on. Put it on, and I'm checking everything's clean. Once again, I'll just lift my loops out of the way. I mean, you can chuck these over a beam or whatever, just to make sure it's all, all free. It's nice and controlled. Nice and easy. Close that one up. Again, double check it's clear. And then... Friction beaner on again. I'm ready to go down. <laughs>